Solving equations with rational coefficients. Coefficients, this word right here, refers to the number next to a variable. So C is the variable and 3 fourths is the coefficient. Another key term that I'm going to be using is multiplicative inverse or just the word inverse, which refers to the opposite. And um, yeah, so we'll, we'll take a look at that. So number one, we're going to solve this equation right here. So we have the equation 3 fourths times C equals 18. So our coefficient is a rational number. It's a fraction. And we want to isolate for C or get C by itself. So we are going to use this term right here, the multiplicative inverse. So the, multipl the multiplicative inverse of 3 fourths is its reciprocal. And the reciprocal of 3 fourths is 4 thirds. So we're going to multiply by 4 thirds to both sides of the equation. So as you recall, we're, I'm using the property of equality, the multipl multiplication property of equality. Because if I multiply the left side by some number, I have to multiply the right side by that same number to keep it nice and balanced. So the multiplicative inverse, what it does is it allows us to cancel out this factor. So the 4's cancel out or divide out and the 3's divide out, leaving us with C isolated. And then over here we're going to go ahead and multiply this out. So we multiply this out in several ways. I like cross canceling first. Um, or you can multiply straight across. So straight across, 4 times 18 is 72, and 3 times 1 is 3, and then I'm going to go ahead and simplify this out, dividing C in, I mean, dividing 3 into 72, so it goes in 24 times. So my C equals 24. Here we have a second equation with rational coefficients and this time the rational coefficient or the number next to the variable is a mixed number and actually we have two mixed numbers so in order to start solving this the first thing we're going to do is change these mixed numbers into improper fractions by multiplying the denominator times the whole number and adding the numerator so now this looks more like the first example we have a fraction in front of our variable n so we have three halves being multiplied times n equals 33 over 2 or 33 halves so once again to isolate for the n we're going to use the multiplicative inverse which is the reciprocal of three halves so the reciprocal of three halves is two thirds so we're going to multiply both sides by two thirds. We're going to multiply both sides. So now that I've applied the, pro the multiplication property of equality here, uh, I'm going to actually multiply. So again, the multiplicative inverse, when I multiply it times its number, they cancel out. So I get my n by itself right here. And again, I multiply straight across, giving me 66 over 6. And that simplifies to a simple twin, uh, 11, sorry, 11. So n is equal to 11. Here's a quick side note about rational coefficients. I can have an expression like this where it says 2 times n divided by 3 equals some number, 6. Or I could have 2 thirds times n equals 6. These mean exactly the same thing. So we would just look at it as a fraction times a variable in both cases. So we'll, we will still use the multiplicative inverse to solve or to isolate for n. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that you see the two different notations and know that they are equivalent. Now next to our next example. In this example, we don't have fractions, but rather we have decimals. Because decimals are also rational numbers, 
and so our coefficient in this case is on the right hand side because our variable is an s right here I, I do a little curse of s because my s's sometimes look like fives so I have 3.15 equals 0 0.45 times s because this is my coefficient over here I want to still isolate on my variable I still still want to isolate my variable so I want to cancel this 0 0.45 being multiplied by s so we're going to use inverse not the multiplicative inverse but just the inverse which is the inverse operation which is to divide so we are going to divide both sides by 0 0.45 because that is the number being multiplied to the variable okay so please be careful on this because a lot of students always want to divide the thing on the left hand side the 3.15 but in this case the way we know which one to divide it's the one that's next to the variable or the one being multiplied to the variable okay so inverses cancel each other out so we have 0 0.45 divided by 0 0.45 that will cancel out giving us our s isolated that's an s right there so pretend that I'm drawing really good I'll try it one more time an s right there you know an s okay when we're dividing by decimals you have to remember that if the divisor is a decimal we're, we move the decimal point over so that it becomes a whole number so this actually becomes 45 and however many I move this decimal place over I have to move it the same number of places in the dividend or the number being divided so in actuality I have 315 being divided by 45 okay so I'm going to do my division on the side and come back okay so I get 7 so s equals 7 well I hope that these three examples were helpful and good luck